I'm Louis Fertel, Jive Ass journalist at MovieLine.com, Twitter sorceress, competitive bulimic, and somebody's son. Yes, yes. Verbal voguing, pop culture, and celebrities. God fucking damn it. Don't touch yourself. I'm like out of my mind giving you faggot realness here. You were wrong. You shouldn't have thought that. That sucks. I will not say it. This is making me angry. I'm Louis Fertel. And you're watching Verbal Voguing, the show that takes the wide umbrella of pop culture, collapses that umbrella, and sits on it. Now, I'm not saying my opinions are better than yours, but I am very thin. I'm turning 25 this week. In the gay world, this means I'm graduating from twink to nameless embarrassment. When you hit your 20s, you start to feel like birthdays kind of suck. Childhood is well over. The priests won't even look at you. Seesaw rides at the elementary school are less pleasurable. The man in the Chuck E. Cheese suit won't dance with you anymore. <laughs> now when I eat paste, my Uncle Marty tells me I should put it on webcam. Plenty of famous people died before they reached 25, which means I should do the things they never got to do. For you, River Phoenix, I'll go to the Viper Room and I won't die of a drug overdose. I'll die of something much more glamorous like starvation. For you, James Dean, I will wear a seatbelt while being overrated. For you, Aaliyah, I'll keep all my R&B sass on a major airline. For you, Joan of Arc, I will say BRB when God tries to talk to me. For you, Notorious B.I.G., I will only engage in turf wars with weak competitors, <laughs> like the what the buck guy. For you, Selena, I will remain totally on a approachable to my fans. I'm waiting for my first fan. But there is one good thing about birthdays. Presents. I just want some traditional gay things. An anal bonnet. A house dress for my penis. An eternity planner for my fate in hell. Candy. A scary old tree that turns out to be Holly Hunter. For Donald Trump's rusty hair thatch to give him tetanus. To become the second person cryogenically frozen alive after Gwyneth Paltrow. To go back in time and save Anthony Perkins. I'm gonna kill the angel that gave him AIDS. To finally get Zac Efron to dress up like 10-year-old Tatum O'Neill. To animate the bones of Gilda Radner. To reunite with the parents I put up for adoption. To learn gymnastics formally from someone who is not my naked babysitter. To get everyone to agree that my Tim Gunn impersonation is the best. Make it work. This worries me. It was outrageous! That dress will not titillate Michael Kors's clit. Go up to the workroom and clean up your space. I'm gonna go get Heidi pregnant on it. Though birthdays may suck, the best thing about them cannot be bought. I'm talking, of course, about attention. People rudely called Madonna old, but she's the youngest living mythological panther demon. I'm not the only one celebrating a birthday this month. So is Madonna. This is a big day for us virgin geisha dominatrix cowgirls. She's our greatest pop culture chameleon. She changes her look. She scampers up a tree. Her eyes move independently from each other. She lays her eggs by the water. She's got some scales. Do, do chameleons have scales? The thing is, Madonna and I have a lot in common. We're both Leos. We're both from the Midwest. We both have bad taste in men. We both react with fearful uncertainty to Sean Penn. David Letterman keeps a pair of our panties. Jesus. She's turning 53. Watch, in 28 years, Lady Gaga will steal that idea too. Madonna's a woman who has everything, but we should still be contributing birthday presents, like a face sharpener, or an eyebrow whacker, or thorax polish. Her famous friends and family have already gotten her some awesome gifts. Victoria Beckham got her a size minus four wrap dress. Carlos Leon offered her a two for one deal on personal training and sperm. Her daughter Lourdes made her a teddy bear out of unibro. Angelina Jolie got her a Senegalese baby but one with bad cheekbones. Lady Gaga sent her a thank you note for proving that goblins can wear leotards. For Madonna's birthday, I'll be commemorating her greatest accomplishments. Justify My Love was the first music video to get me pregnant. The sex book taught me that the naked body is best clothed with a lovely coat of penises. Vogue inspired some very important video blogs. As the video for Material Girl proved, she really is our generation's Marilyn Monroe. She fucked a baseball player. Actually several. And like a lacrosse player. A billiards champ. A ping pong amateur. A badminton referee. She drew attention to AIDS when everybody thought she was the gay cancer. She had the audacity to use burning crosses to illustrate injustice and sexual frustration in Like a Prayer. Now she uses burning crosses at Kabbalah meetings when somebody eats gluten. Madonna's so awesome, I even like her when she does terrible things. Like Who's That Girl? Which I liked until I realized it wasn't a snuff film. I like that the gap in her teeth reflects the gap in her judgment. Her cover of American Pie, that was the real day the music died and fell out of the ambulance. That movie, The Next Best Thing, was the next best thing to the apocalypse. Should've named that movie Mercy, not your daughter. I don't mean any harm. I could never humiliate you. The only people who truly humiliate you are the people you dated in the 90s, mainly the basketball players. Bottom line, Madonna fucking rules. She is the Baryshnikov of pop chutzpah. And now it's time for hashtag throwdown. 
Today's hashtag is banned children's books. The very hate-crimed caterpillar. Pedophilia bedelia. One fish, two fish, Ted Bundy is innocent. The hose at Pooh Corner. The scat in the hat. The little engine on mom's vibrator. Are you there, God? I need $10,000. Are you there, God? I need abortion money. Are you there, God? It's me, the surgeon of Birkenau. Oh, the places you'll go for meth. Free to be you and me. Unless you're Muslim. Horton hears the Holocaust never happened. Sarah, plain and cum dump. Jacob, have I stabbed. Jacob, have I bent over. The Indian in the cupboard which is converted into a casino. Little Red Riding Sores, Cum Dumple Stiltskin. Fun with Dick and Piercings. The Little Prince Albert. The Polar Express to Auschwitz. The BFG, Blumpkins Feel Good. Chitty Chitty Gang Rape Bang Ass. How the Grinch Stole the Lindbergh Baby. How the Grinch Stole My Ass Virginity. Where's Waldo's Ass Virginity? The Secret Garden of Ass Virginities. Are you there, God? I can't find my ass virginity. <laughs> For more cunt magic, read me at movieline.com or follow me on Twitter at Louis Vertel. This has been Verbal Voguing, where it's always Satan's birthday. Join us next time for another immaculate conniption. Yes, yes, Verbal Voguing, pop culture, and celebrities. 